You ever a moment like where you were with the big boys when you were really young and someone was like, <laughs> probably try but not I didn't feel it like oh rah. no never ever impossible no hi I'm Raheem Sterling England forward and today I'm here to break down some of the best teammates I've played with in the England national team yeah when I was younger the big dream of mine was always to represent England I Represented England from youth team levels, but nothing quite prepares you for being with the seniors. Club football, I had Gerard at the time there, Lampard, Rooney, Ashley Cole, all these big names that I used to watch growing up, and then you're in the dressing room then. When you're younger, this is something that you've always wanted to do, and then now you're here, you have the opportunity. Yeah, to know you're selected. I mean, I have a big pot of English talent, which we all know there's a, a quite a lot. And Gerard, someone that when I was at Liverpool took me under his wing. Again, someone that was an inspiration for me when I was younger, obviously watching him on TV and then being in a dressing room with him. Humble, and then of course the, the athlete that he was that, you know, he, for many years, he carried Liverpool and won them a Champions League as well. You know, having one of the biggest names in your team and then of course with the national team as well. Someone that will help you and try to guide you was, I think, a massive kind of relief for me. Someone that made my time with the national team a lot easier. Passion, leader on the field, and yeah, superstar. He's a player that can do anything really, score, tackle, defend, whatever you want, want to call it, assist. Um, so to have someone of that calibre, you know, to learn from and, you know, be around was, was top. World class, probably for me, the best left back in history. I don't think there's much more needs to be said than that. You look at what he's won and what he's done in the game, he's, uh, for me, definitely up there with the best left backs ever. Jamie Carragher, someone very vocal in and around the dressing room. Again, a great leader. Someone that you'd want on your team, you don't want against you because you know exactly what he's going to bring for your team. He's going to drive you on to win. You're just naming all the big names. Rampard, top score goals from anywhere, penalty, header, right foot, left foot, shin, shoulder, whatever it is, you name it, he's, he's scored it already. A player for the big moments, a player that will get you over the line, you know, in those vital times when, you know, you need to dig deep if formation or something ain't going right, he's a player that you can rely on and we were fortunate that you could, he played for, for our national team. Bagsman, yeah. yeah, again, another Bagsman. Some of the training sessions that I used to watch or be with him in the national team, his finishing was up there with, you know, possibly the best I've, I've seen, that's for sure. He's a player that I do believe that could have got some more love, because I, I, think, I think he was top. Yeah, every time I played with him, I'm guaranteed he, he scored. He was actually probably, yeah, my first person I started watching from an England national team perspective, like, see what his game was about. I can't remember what World Cup it was. I don't know if it was South Africa or whatnot, but he got called up and we needed a left winger and he came in and he slotted in really well for England. I and mean, then after that tournament, he was someone that I, I watched very closely and then got the opportunity to, to play with him. Technically, really good, great feet, can beat a player. Leader, leads by example. He needs to rally up the guys, he does that for sure. And yeah, he score a goal when you need one. And Kane does this, what, what is this thing? His goal celebration when he jumps up and... Yeah, I think it's just a thing in the moment. Probably, to you, it probably looks dead, but that's what he was feeling, isn't it? <laughs> you score some goals, sometimes you do some stupid stuff. Long may that continue. Which one's your favorite, like, goal celebration that's not yours? No, I think Mbappe's is cold. Yeah. Mbappe's is cold. For me, hands down, best ball playing center back there is. Yeah, simple. For me, just about who the person is, a human being, what they stand for, what their values are, and he's one that, you know, me and him get on really well because I think we share a lot of the same things. Yeah, and I've got a good friendship with him. He calls me a few times, just chatting absolutely garbage. That's the character he is, he's just never serious, but on the football field, you know what I mean? He, he steps up a level, but off the field, he's an absolute child, which that's why I love him. Again, another leader, he works, works, works. So whenever you see someone that gets their, their praise and you know some of the stuff he achieves, he deserves every single thing because, you know, and they say hard work, he's the definition that for me, he, he always trains like he plays and then delivers in big moments. You know, he leads Liverpool by example. Another player that I think we're, we're lucky to have with the national team. Power walk, beast. 1v1 specialist, one of the fastest men on the planet. If Usain wasn't here, probably. But yeah, again, another um, terrific guy. 
Being another guy that's never serious off the field and you want to be around all day because he just makes you laugh. But then on the field, he's an absolute beast and he looks like the older he gets, the better he gets. He's as fast as everybody advertised. Is he faster than you? 100%. But he's powerful. I, I can't bother to run that long. A lot, lot of the times you see me, he's not even in full stride. That's the maddest thing. He wants people to race him. Like you'll see him on a match day and he'll let you go past just so he can catch you up and embarrass you. Mason, again, another top trainer. And again, a player that's got a high potential ceiling, um, a player that's been producing for Chelsea and with the national team. And he's a player that, you know, we're definitely going to need in the future because he has all the qualities, you know, to be one of the very best midfielders. Feelings get there, hopefully get there. Over the last couple of years, we've been getting better and better. And I think, yeah, we're tournament ready. But at the same time, you know, you've got to go with a, a level head and always have yourself as the underdog and then just work. That's what we can do when we go there is just work and, and try to produce these big moments.